good YouTube man, it's Malik. Back at it, you know what I'm saying? We got that one time Michael Jordan watched his kids get torched by a future NBA player. Should be interesting, man. So let's get into this video. It's always been interesting for me to go back and look at the high school rankings of some of the best NBA players today. ESPN's high school ranking archive goes all the way back to 2007, mm. which just happens to be a stacked class of elite hoopers. Chandler Parsons was oh, yeah. ranked 44th in the country. DeAndre Jordan was 25th. And what happened to Chandler Parsons anyway? Named James Harden was 21st in the country. Blake Griffin was 18th. Mm. Oh yeah, these are was the fifth best nothing but all stars, right? Nothing but superstars. Mayo was the third best recruit in that class, but ranked higher than all of those players was a shooting guard out of Indiana. Who a that, who six that? foot five, five star recruit with a silky smooth jumper, ranked second in the country by the name of Eric Gordon. Oh yeah, Since Eric Gordon. Yeah, Eric was drafted shoot. to the NBA, dropped forty one points on KD and the Thunder as a rookie, earned an NBA Six Man of the Year award, won an NBA three point contest, and has quietly been one of the most consistent players in he his under, he underrated. NBA seasons. In the NBA, Eric isn't great, but he's definitely not bad. He's not bad, he's bro. A good player. But I, I wouldn't say he underrated, rated, but was untouchable. he fired. Mr. Basketball of Indiana, Not first true. team All-American, and as a senior, had multiple 50-point games and averaged 30 points per game on 46% shooting from three. In fact, Eric was so good that he was given the nickname Air Gordon, resembling Michael Jordan with his freakish athleticism while wearing the number 23. Of course, this nickname caused quite the spectacle when Eric Gordon faced off against Michael Jordan's kids on national television That's tough. in front of Michael Jordan himself. Michael's two sons, Jeffrey Jordan, a senior at the time, and Marcus Jordan, a sophomore, had to face off in a packed gym against the kid who was drawing comparisons to their father. Now, Jeff and Marcus Jordan were actually Gordon, a good high school duo. High Jeff school. was a top 30 player in the state, and Marcus was ranked top 50 in his class in the entire country. The school they played for, Loyola Academy, was no slouch either. At the time, Loyola was ranked as the number one team in Illinois and ranked 22nd in the country. In mm. fact, going into this game against Eric Gordon and North Central, Loyola Academy was absolutely walking every team they played. Held their first matchup of the season to just 33 points. Blowout, blowout, blowout. This team got within eight points of beating them and then back to more blowouts. 20 wins, zero losses. The best team in the state of Illinois and a 20 game winning streak to show for it. Their next opponent, North Central and their superstar, Air Gordon. The Jordan boys and their squad were actually the favorites in this matchup, but going up against Eric Gordon, this game was said to be one of the premier games of the entire season, which is why it landed a spot on ESPN in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Loyola Academy gets out to a hot start, sparked by an alley-oop from Marcus to Jeffrey. Loyola Academy up 15 to seven, just five minutes. The game was living up to the hype and Jordan was loving it. And then Eric Gordon showed up. But live by MJ, Loyola in its first nationally televised game, game this season. Here. Air Jordan oh. to Eric Man. Gordon, perhaps? Gordon wears number yeah, 23. Yeah, look at that jumper. And he knows man, how hey, to They need to make Eric Gordon ESPN. have this type of role right here. North Central outscored Loyola 25 to five in the second quarter. This man right here, but he was getting buckets. I know these just highlights though, but man right here getting buckets right now. In the fourth quarter, it's showtime. Kelvin Sampson giddy about the 6'4 senior guard. Ain't 58 to 39. As Gordon scores 43. Yo, this, this is not the Eric Gordon I see today. I know he, I know they got different types of roles to play, but Michael Jordan and company, Eric Gordon dropped a career high 43 points on Michael's sons, putting up 18 late of the team's 20 points in just the first quarter and getting Air Gordon chance in the process. For the majority of the game, Marcus and Jeff were guarding Gordon. Well, tried to guard Gordon, but were tried. left helpless as Eric did an uncanny impersonation of their father every time he came down the court. In what some reporters call one of the most electric high school basketball performances ever aired on ESPN, Eric finished his onslaught with a dunk that was special ordered for Michael Jordan in the crowd. But if that wasn't bad enough, because of the hype around Eric Gordon and MJ's kids, this game hey, one of the man, largest it, viewings of cradle. any high school basketball game ever aired on ESPN. Michael's sick, about two seconds away from throwing on a jersey, lacing up, and subbing into the game himself. Stop it. 
get some help. After the game, Eric was asked what it was like to drop 43 points in front Man, of Michael Jordan. Jordan probably would like that. Play in front of him and then score 43 points. Well, I, I mean, it was great. I, I got to show. I, I was Confident. To good. I, cool. Uh, but it, it was really, I'd rather see my team win more than me uh, scoring or this many points. Or That's know, the right response to see. Show a fantastic play. So I'd rather see my team win. I'd say that Eric both put on a show and helped his team get the win since North Central beat Loyola Academy by 41 points. Eric Gordon nearly outscored the entire Loyola roster Just by himself. Buddies. In fact, in the 14 seasons since this game, Loyola Academy has lost 138 games. <laughs> and of those 138 losses, there has been a handful of blowouts. They've lost some games by 20 plus points, and they've lost a few games by 25 points or more. Mm. But not one loss in 14 seasons comes even close to the beatdown North Central gave them. Keep in mind, this was their best team in that 14 year stretch. And Eric Gordon. I don't did know. This I don't know what to say, man. And if that wasn't bad enough, ESPN went out of their way to create this heartless graphic to really drive their point home. Was the 41 point blowout in front of their father not enough for y'all? Was the fact that they had to play the kid who was compared to their father while getting pieced up for 43 not enough like, for y'all? How did do Jimmy Hyrule be becoming out with these like videos, bro? Like, I never but knew. Gordon, I was never knew it was Eric Gordon. End there. In the same post-game interview, Eric Gordon was asked about Michael Jordan's All-American Classic, a game hosted by Jordan Brand to showcase the best high school talent in the country. season the jordan brand all-american team was announced featuring the best high school players in the country players like michael beasley blake griffin jeffrey jordan i don't know who that is i'm sure that had nothing to do with the last name derrick rose oj mayo and eric gordon that yeah, same they had some superstars in there, played in the jordan classic and take a wild guess at who led their team to a victory as the leading scorer eric gordon that's right you can't make this stuff up. The kid who Bro, a couple Eric months Gordon's earlier spent crazy? 40 minutes torching in his kids for 43 points played in Michael's All-American Classic and led his team to a dub. MJ had to watch this kid get busy not once, but, but twice. twice in the same season. That's the tough. first time against his own kids on ESPN mm -hmm. and the second in his very own game. So if this has taught us anything, it's that you can't mess with Michael Jordan and get away with it. But you can drop 43 on his kids on national television, still get invited to his All-American game, and live to tell the tale. Hope Yo, you that's something that he can, that's always, he can tell his sons. Until next time. Tell his kids. Tell his kids that, you know. Man, Eric Gordon, bro. I don't know, man. He, who who, who would have who who even known that it was Eric Gordon doing that, bro? Like, I thought it was somebody else that dropped off his kids, but it was Eric Gordon going crazy in high school this whole time. It's tough. But make sure you hit that like button. Comment and subscribe. I'm out.